Hi, I'm Corey with Corey's Vintage Corner. Welcome back, and if this is your first time joining me, welcome. Today I'm going to be working on this Santa. I found it at my local Goodwill store. It's covered in this metallic red and green and gold paint that was flaking off. It doesn't really fit my decor style. I like more of a vintage feel to things. So today I'm going to be doing a faux concrete and then also doing some dry brushing. I'd originally thought of doing white wax, but decided that wasn't the way I wanted to go. So here I am, I'm just giving it a really good clean. I used some multi-purpose cleaner. It helped to get all the dirt and grime off it, get it ready to paint, and also helped to pull some of the chipping paint that was on there off of it. I just started out with gravel road, just um, wanted to do a simple base coat. Don't have to have full coverage on there. Whole purpose of this is just to cut back on some of the shine and to give it a coat that'll make it easier to do the faux concrete finish on it. Some of the places were a little more difficult to get to, but I just kind of switched out the brushes in order to get to those um, hard to reach places. Here I'm just taking the um, gravel road. It is Debbie's Design Diary DIY paint in gravel road and adding baking soda. You want to make sure that you're doing minimal amount of baking soda and if it's not the consistency that you want, you just add a little bit more into it. Just make sure that when you're mixing it up that you're getting all the clumps out of it too. You want this to be a pretty thick consistency in order to get that concrete finish that you're looking for. So I just used an old um, chip brush here and what you want to do is just dip your, your chip brush into the paint and then you can just, you know, dab it on in varying different um, directions to cover it and you'll get a really nice um, kind of stippling effect but it'll give that texture that you're wanting to make it look like that faux concrete. Now, if you don't get full coverage on this, it's really easy to go back over some of those places that, that are still showing through. Um, just put a little bit more on your brush and onto it. It gives it more texture too. If there's areas that you have that you'll see here that are kind of more clumpy and goopy, you can just go back over it with your brush and it will even it out a little bit more. Some of the areas were a little bit smaller, so I took a smaller uh, chip brush to get into those hard to reach areas. Now once it's dry, I'm going over it and dry brushing in marquee red. Again, this is a Debbie Design DIY paint. It's um, a really pretty red. You just want to be very light on it. You want light, light coat on your brush. You're going to want to pounce some of it off so you barely have any on there and then just lightly brush over it. You can always add more paint you can't take paint away. So keep that in mind. Now the areas that have the folds in his clothing, I went back over um, to darken them up just to give some more dimension, some depth to it. So 
So the colors that I used on Santa, again, I used Debbie's Design Diary DIY Paint. It's clay-based. I used the Marquee Red. And then I also used Blue Iris, Monet's Garden, and Water Lily for the gifts. And then for the black boots, I used um, her color in the black velvet. I will tell you, I messed up on the cuff there, realized, oh, that's supposed to be white, but it was easy. Once it dried, I was able to go back over it with the white and you couldn't tell. So there were some designs in the packages that Santa is sitting on that I wanted to pop out a little bit more. So in order to do that, I decided to use the redesigned decor wax in the color Eternal. It's kind of an antique looking gold color that I just used my fingertips to brush on. So now that all the dry brushing is done, I'm just taking the Debbie's Design Diary clear wax and waxing this. It'll bring out the color and it'll give it a protective coating. I had to stop for the night and come back the next day to just finish up. So I finished up the clear coat um, on this, just the clear wax. And then once I'm finished with all the clear wax, I need to wipe it back. So I just took one of the disposable shop towels, it's lint free, and just wipe back all the wax. And now it's done. What do you think? I love it. Instead of having that shiny metallic gold and red and green paint, you now have a vintage feel with the faux concrete and dry brush. You can find this and other decor items at my shop online at CoreyVintageCorner.com or at my booth at Dusty Roads Marketplace. Is there anything that you would change about this? If so, please leave a comment down below. Please like, subscribe, and have a great day.